FBI agents testify about what they found in the hotel room of the man charged with killing a sheriff's deputy in Rockford. Floyd Brown's trial continued today. Rachel Perry sat in on it once again. She joins us live from outside Rockford's federal courthouse with a rundown of testimony. Rachel. Mimi and Eric, something we heard about a few times today was Brown's cell phone data. After investigators say they found a cell phone and two computers in room 305. We heard from two FBI agents about the phone, but have not heard an analysis on what, if any, data they were able to recover. We've still only heard from just more than half the witnesses prosecution could call to testify. Last week, ISP officers and the FBI testified to finding two rifles and nearly nine boxes of nine millimeter ammunition in Brown's car after he was taken into custody. Today, a former FBI agent testified to finding two nine millimeter pistols and nearly 200 live rounds of rifle ammunition in hotel room 305 where they say Brown was staying. Adding they found several bullets in the door and wall of his room along with room 306 across the hall. So far, every U.S. Marshal deputy assisting with serving the warrant that day has testified. They claim they were shot at nonstop while trying to serve Brown a warrant. Brown's defense attorney has asked each of them the same question, asking if they fired their weapon and if their guns were surrendered and tested. All have said no. Later on, a former Rockford police sergeant testified to finding two rifle casings under the window of room 305. Deputies say Keltner's body was found nearby. We will keep covering the trial as it continues. But for now, reporting live in Rockford for your home team, I'm Rachel Perry.